Road to GH will reveal how Sasha narrowly escaped from Sidwell and returned safely to her family, bringing an overwhelming joy to Holly and Robert. They embrace in complete happiness as, after years of separation, the three of them are finally reunited. For Sasha, this is a moment to let go of the shame and pain she has carried for so long, accepting the truth that Robert is her biological father. This realization not only soothes her emotional wounds, but also provides her with a firm foundation in the love of her family. GH fans are deeply moved by this emotional moment, as everyone wishes for Sasha to find peace and happiness with her loved ones after all the hardships and dangers she has endured. However, will Sasha's family's happiness truly last? Because Sidwell hasn't entirely vanished from her life. Although he obtained the precious diamond, he still harbors a deep grudge and is determined to return for revenge. Sidwell's shadow continues to loom, threatening Sasha and her family's fragile happiness, leaving fans worried about her future. Is Sasha truly safe, or is this only a calm before a greater storm? Sidwell could never forgive Holly. He sees her as a dangerous enemy, not only because she dared to steal the precious diamond he considers a symbol of power and wealth but also because she boldly led Jason and Anna to Africa to destroy the underground empire he painstakingly built. The base in Africa was not only Sidwell's operations center but also where he stored all his assets and secrets. To him, that place symbolized strength and control, asserting his unassailable position in the underworld. When Holly led Jason and Anna to destroy that base, she didn't just take away Sidwell's wealth, she stripped him of the honor, pride, and authority he had cultivated for years, watching his base reduced to rubble, Sidwell didn't just see his assets vanish, he saw his pride and arrogance trampled upon. What was once his center of power is now just ruins, and every. Watching his base reduced to rubble, Sidwell didn't just see his assets vanish, he saw his pride and arrogance trampled upon. What was once his center of power is now just ruins, and every time he recalls it, a rage erupts within him that nothing can quench. Sidwell has vowed not to let Holly and her companions rest. For him, this revenge is no longer just about the diamond, it's about restoring his honor and pride, deeply wounded. Sidwell decides that Holly must pay a painful and ruthless price, in Sidwell's plans, he not only wants to defeat Holly but also to make her suffer as she watches everything crumble bit by bit, just like how his base in Africa was destroyed. Sidwell keeps imagining the day he will strike a vengeful blow, causing Holly and her loved ones to suffer and face loss. For him, revenge is not only retaliation, it's a means of regaining lost power and proving that no one can escape his wrath after daring to disrupt the empire he built. After a brief yet emotional reunion, the three-member family thought they could finally find peace, but a terrifying event strikes again. Holly is unexpectedly shot and left in critical condition, teetering on the edge between life and death. No one knows the real assailant, but all suspicions quickly point towards Sidwell. With the deep grudge he harbors toward Holly and the ominous threats he previously made, Sidwell becomes the prime suspect in this painful attack. Although Sasha still feels resentment towards her mother for past events, she can't help but feel heartbroken and disoriented upon hearing that Holly is facing death. The image of her once strong mother now lying silently on a hospital bed leaves Sasha conflicted and distressed. She can't imagine that, after all the dangers and suffering they've faced together, now, just as their family has been reunited, yet another cruel storm has struck. Within Sasha rises a fear and dread that this newfound happiness might vanish forever. The threat from Sidwell, whom they thought they had defeated, has now returned as a dark shadow haunting their lives once again. Sasha not only worries about Holly's condition, but also feels powerless in facing such a dangerous and vengeful foe. With Holly's injuries and the looming threat from Sidwell, Sasha's small family stands once again at a severe crossroads uncertain of where the future will lead them in this brutal battle for survival. When Sasha and Robert witness Holly lying helplessly on the hospital bed, her breathing faint and frail, they both realize that the danger from Sidwell is far from over. This attack is not only a warning but a ruthless declaration of war from the family's relentless enemy. 
Sidwell, who has lost everything and has nothing left to lose, won't stop until he sees this family suffer to the fullest extent, just as he once did. In that moment, Sasha and Robert understand all too well, Sidwell's hatred knows no bounds as long as he lives, Sasha cannot avoid the heart-wrenching pain of seeing her mother in such a life-threatening situation. She understands that this is no longer a personal matter between Holly and Sidwell, it's an unending spiral of revenge, a battle she doesn't want but can't abandon. Watching her mother fighting for her life, Sasha gradually realizes she cannot stand on the sidelines. She is drawn into this cycle of vengeance, not only for Holly but also for herself and her family, because if she does nothing, Sidwell will continue to hunt down and destroy everything she holds dear. As a father and the only man capable of protecting his family, Robert feels he has no other choice. Even knowing that confronting Sidwell is dangerous and may lead to tragic consequences, he cannot let his daughter and the woman he loves live in fear and danger forever. Seeing Sasha forced into this situation, Robert feels an even greater responsibility to protect her, to safeguard the family they have just reclaimed. The big question remains, can this cycle of revenge ever end? Or will it forever be an endless loop of accumulating loss and pain? Sasha knows that, to escape this cycle of hatred, she may have to plunge into one final showdown with Sidwell. She and Robert now have only two options, either confront him and end it all or forever live in the shadows of a ruthless enemy, who has sworn not to let them rest.